Greetings, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Arlington Weekly News. Thanks for joining us. I'm Craig Nolan. I'm Rich Misabney. And Daniel is uh, on assignment tonight. Maybe he'll be back next week. Maybe not. We don't know. We'll see. Hopefully he will. And uh, we're looking for co-anchors, so if you're watching this and uh, you like to read the news, come on down. And we're also on YouTube. Did you know that? You can watch us on YouTube, and so this, this week's show will be seen uh, Friday on YouTube, so check us out. We're on the tube. Yeah. We're on the tube. That's good. I love YouTube. to look at myself. Absolutely. So, um, there you go. Arlington police are asking for the, the public's story, help yeah. with an investigation of an abduction and robbery that took place on February 27th, shortly after 4 a.m. on the 27th. Two women were walking uh, to a residence near the Boston area when an unknown, ma unknown man confront him with a gun and force him inside the house where he restrained them. One of the women was able to call 911 on a cell phone, but the uh, sus uh, suspect uh, was able to force one of them into his vehicle. The uh, abducted uh, victim was eventually located in Prince William County, suffering serious injuries, and she was taken to a nearby hospital. The suspect uh, in this abduction is a white Hispanic male in his early 20s, about 5'5 five, five or 5'6". Five, weighing about 160 pounds and has short, dark hair. If you have uh, information about this, of course, uh, I can identify anything, please call the Arlington Police uh, at the tip line at 703-228-4242, and you can stay anonymous. All right, thanks, Rich. And uh, by now, you may already know about the multi-month lane closure on westbound U.S. Route 50 or Arlington Boulevard. And in case you don't, you might want to avoid that area of uh, Route 50 from Courthouse Road to 10th Street North between now and July. The Virginia Department of Transportation, better known as VDOT, has closed the left lane of westbound Arlington Boulevard in that area due to utility relocation. And a VDOT also, VDOT also advises that they'll be making additional temporary lane closures uh, as the need arises. The utility relocation is the first part of a longer project to make that intersection safer for uh, pedestrians and motorists and everyone. VDOT recommends that uh, commuters use alternate routes or take public transportation if they can. If you have any questions about the road part project, call VDOT staff at 571-248-6111 or 571-248-6111. 6109 for more information on uh, transportation options. You can also check their website, www.commuterpage.com. Rich. Remember the recent uh, record-breaking snowfall? How could you not? <laughs> Who you have any trouble finding a cleared sidewalk in one of our commercial areas? It might be a little late now, but the county board will be considering a 60-day temporary snow removal <laughs> ordinance at its meeting on March 13th. And they've also inducted the, uh, uh, the acting county manager to draft a permanent snow removal measure for them to consider at their meeting in April. You might want to be part of the discussion. County government had a number of complaints that sidewalks near commercial and high-density residential properties hadn't been cleared in a reasonable period of time after February storms. You can uh, read both measures on the county's website, arlington.us, under more news. All right, some information now on those dreaded utility bills. The county reports that due to the recent snowstorms, they've had trouble reading utility meters. That means that Arlington will have to estimate about 9,000 water and sewer bills to be delivered to res residential customers this month. If uh, your bill is affected, you'll see the words estimated consumption on your bill. County staff advises that they'll do their best to get their actual meter reading in May uh, before sending out the next quarterly bill. If you believe the billing estimate on your utility statement doesn't reflect your actual usage, you can call them and plead your case at 703-228-6570 to review it with a customer service representative. We wish you luck. Yeah, thanks, Craig. On that Craig. score, Rich. 